Hi, Assalamualaikum everyone. Okay, so my name is Rose Diana and as you can see, I am in the car right now because I just got back from the cinema. I watched a movie called Joker. Okay, so to tell the truth, I really really like the movie because it was amazing. It has a really good plot. It is a good movie to watch overall and most importantly it has a lot of lessons that we can actually learn because this movie uh, focuses on people with mental illness so the strongest lesson in this movie is about depression but I'm so sorry if you are expecting me to talk about depression we are not going to touch on that topic today because I found because I just thought that there was a stronger message in this movie besides depression okay but first of all if you are not aware of who is Joker what is Joker I'm going to briefly tell you who he, who he is Joker is actually a super villain he's a bad guy he is an enemy in the Batman movie so basically he is a bad guy he is a bad person he is the orang jahat but the unique thing about this movie is we, it actually showed us why did he really become bad like what makes him a bad person what makes him do all the all the awful things that he did okay so basically joker the bad things that he did includes killing people and bringing chaos into the public he likes to make a scene he kills people for fun he kills people for the sport i mean he kills people for sport he kills people for the fun of it because he finds pleasure in killing people he feels that when he takes away somebody's life he is doing the world a favor so that's basically it he thinks that killing is not really a bad thing you know he feels that yeah okay so basically all right so that's okay i'm so sorry that's basically it but okay i don't know if i mentioned just now that this movie actually focuses on people with mental illness yeah the the, the message the main point of this movie is to educate people on people with mental illness how they are being treated in the society today but i'm so sorry we are not going to talk about that right now because i feel like depression is a very sensitive topic and i am not the right person and i am not in the right position to be talking about it so i'm not going to talk about it because i feel that there is a stronger message from the movie aside from depression okay i think if you have been on the social media for quite a while now since the movie was released there was this uh, famous quote saying orang yang jahat ialah orang baik yang disakiti they are actually relating this quote to to the movie joker because okay in this story joker actually came from the lower class level of society okay the the banda the city that he is living in there are two classes the upper level and the lower level the upper level ialah orang-orang yang kaya orang-orang yang ada power yang they have everything in control they are, they are in control of everything in the city orang-orang bawah ni ialah orang-orang yang tak bernasib baik orang yang tak ada duit orang yang ditindas oleh orang-orang atas sana so basically joker is one of them but what but the most important thing you need to know about joker is he is originally a good man he was good at heart all he wanted was to bring joy and laughter to other people despite the cruel world that he is living in he wants to make he loves making people laugh he likes to see people laugh, laugh because he has always wanted to be a comedian in the movie at first he worked as a clown in the kids hospital so that that's actually a really noble job he makes all the kids happy but a lot of things happen he got kicked out of his job and so many things happen but that actually drove him crazy yeah he already had a mental illness and the whole world somehow is against him and that drove him crazy and that makes him think that 
what's the point of me being nice if people do not appreciate me if, the, if people do not appreciate kebaikan kebaikan aku buat apa the, ap, what's the point aku jadi baik kalau orang tetap jadi jahat dengan aku so he had that thought that makes him feel like Okay, I'm not going to be nice anymore. I'm going to start killing people to show that I am retaliating against this community. So basically, dia tengah uh, retaliate. Dia tengah rebel dengan community dia sebab dia rasa community dia ni tidak tidak adil. Because you know, because all the rich people gets all the gets everything they want and orang bawah tak dapat apa yang orang nak. Orang ba- arah atasan buat benda sesuka hati dengan orang bawahan Just because orang bawahan tak ada kuasa Sepenuhnya So The strongest message that I learned today is The quote might be true In the context of the film Tapi kalau dah kita tengok dari segi Islamic perspective I feel like It is Benda ni tak patut I feel like benda tu tak patut sebab kita sebab kutubah terakhir Rasulullah berbunyi Jika kita tidak mahu menyakiti orang lain Janganlah kita sakiti orang lain ha. So sebagai seorang Muslim Kita tak patut bu- bagi movie ni influence kita punya pemikiran sebagai seorang Muslim Yes, sebab Nabi Muhammad dulu dicaci maki Even Hampir dibunuh sebab dia berdakwah Tapi dia tetap jadi baik dengan semua orang Yes, betul Saya percaya that everyone is not like Nabi Muhammad Nobody is as perfect as Nabi Muhammad But we can always jadikan dia sebagai contoh teladan Okay So, the message that I learned The message that I actually got from this movie is No matter how hard people are being on you How harsh people are on you How badly you are being treated Don't treat them the same way. Always treat them the way you want it, the way you want to be treated, not the way you are being treated. Because that's not how our prophet uh, taught us to be. Kita kena sentiasa mencontohi kita punya Nabi Muhammad. Orang buat jahat kita jangan balas sebab balas tu ialah kerja Allah. Okay, saya rasa sekian sahaja. Saya punya vlog pada hari ini I hope you guys learned something as well As much as I did from this movie I hope you guys please, please watch the movie And then maybe you can think about it more Maybe you can relate more with what I said just now So I guess that's about it Thank you, bye